Hello, welcome back to Debbie and Laura's Crochet and Crafts. I'm Laura. I'm Debbie. And this is Asher. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> he just wanted to say hi. He's going to go play his video game now, right? Say bye bye. I'm just going to free him. Look All at right. the camera. All right. Okay. All right, well, we don't have much because um, I just made a video. Just what was it? Uh, Sunday? Sun last Sunday. Last Sunday. All right, well, anyway, I only have two projects to show you that I've completed. Uh, the first one is this hat, and it's a child size hat. It fits Sammy. And I crocheted it with the Red Heart Super Saver Americana. And I like the way the stripes go on this one. So you have your navy and the, the white for like representing the stars, mm -hmm. and then your red stripe, and then your white stripe. That did turn out pretty good. Yeah. How did you get it to turn out like that instead of the other way? It, well, the hat's bigger than that first hat oh, that I okay. made. So it striped differently. But I like this one better. Yeah. I'm and like I said, it, it fits Sammy's head. Mm -hmm. So that's good. So yeah, so I made that. Um, <laughs> No, Laura, no, no, my Laura's dogs. puppies. And my mom, our mom in yeah. the background. No. So the next project I made is this candle cozy. And I crocheted it. It's um, just, I don't know what the stitch is called. And I should after no, all these no, years. No. But it's single crochet, double crochet, and the one stitch. And then you skip the next stitch and do a single crochet, double crochet. Mm -hmm. And it makes no, a really no, nice no, no. stitch pattern. It's our mother. She's mother. Hey, we're on video, Mom. Ma, you're fussing at the dough. Yeah, we're on video, remember? Yeah, we're on video. Don't say that. This is just, it's just a little okay. much yet. So it, it wraps around the candle. And, uh... It even opens up. Like nice. that. I like that. And I can't, uh... Can you see what that says? What the, it's a 16 ounce, or no, we meant 18 ounce. 18 ounce. It's an 18 ounce candle, and I got it from AC Moore, I believe. And all you do is just wrap it around the candle, and then put the loop around the button, and it hides the label. And there you go. Quick and easy. Um, it's pretty. Thank you. And I like it. And it's pretty too. Thank you, Asher. You're welcome. And that's all that I've completed this week. <laughs> I still have not completed that uh, blanket that I'm crocheting with the uh, Vernat baby blanket yarn. I'm, I haven't finished that yet, but it's almost done. I'm on the very last round. And it should be completed tonight. So for our next video, I'll show it to you then. There you go. Well, okay. first of all, I gotta, um, no. I'm gonna be making more crosses because I'm doing like on my wall a memorial to uh, family members that we've lost. I got a picture of our, our aunt and our, mother and our brother, and I'm gonna get, and our grandparents, and then I'm gonna get a picture of my sister and my father and my bro our brother in law, and put it up there too, and make crosses for each of them. And that's gonna be our like memorial wall in our house. Yeah, because we did lose our brother um, in September, yep. the end of September. Yeah, that was September 23rd. Yeah, terrible. Um, that's, yeah, that's part of the reason why we haven't been making videos. Laura's I can see you too! Busy with it's the camera band. <laughs> I'm the camera band. Yeah, I don't I'm know about this band. video. Hey. And I think from now on, Laura's coming to my house so we can make a video. Yeah, because we have less distractions Hi, over there. Hi, guys. We got my grandson, my mother, and uh, my four dogs. Four I'm the puppies. cameraman. Yeah. Can you guys see me through the camera? These four, these four puppies are uh, Baron and Princess's sisters. Come here. Come here, Ava. Come here. See? Oh, what? No, they don't want to come, come here. Come to you. Come here. Come here. All right, I'll show you that. Come here. They're all right away. Here's Misha. Oh. Uh, Misha Sophia. Yes. She's cute. Uh, and this is Tara Darlene. Come here. Right? Come here. Just Say hi. Just, I heard. Oh. Mm -hmm. Come 
here. They want to come to me, but they don't want to come to me. Come here. Uh, this is Ava Lynn. Ava Lynn! My favorite there's dog. Cute. And there's the last one trying to jump up. Or, no, 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 that's me, sir. Come here. Oh, for goodness sake. That's Leah. Uh, Leah's turn. And this is Leah Rose. She's right. scared of me. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness, Lisa. <laughs> Alright, y'all, go play. So, yeah, four puppies. Get, 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 I don't think I'm going to talk very long since we had a lot of distractions. Yeah. So I'll give you like, this will be the outlaying of the whole thing. And then I will talk more okay. in other videos. Okay. See what I'm saying? And then the next video will start yeah. book one. Right. Do half of book one. Okay. It'll be over at her house. Yeah. Then. Now this is my project. Yeah, that's his project. That's project. But, um... Well, I can talk about you. It, it's just, it's time travel, romance, and history. And the history is is accurate because Diana Gabaldon, she researches from, everything she does. It has, throughout the entire series, it has France. Um, um, you know, they, they do with the uprising. In 1745, they go on to, there's a small battle in the United States before the Revolutionary War. Those Tara. It's in everything that they do. Is always, she always really um, researches so she doesn't get anything wrong. She's a really good author. Mm -hmm. She's working on her 10th book now, which is called Go Tell the Bees That I Have Gone. But, um, or no, her ninth book, sorry. Her tenth book will be the last one. That's what I meant to say. But there's, uh, let's see, which one's her? There's Outlander. What's the uh, first one? That, the first one is Outlander. All right, and then the second. The second one, uh-oh, is Dragonfly, Dragonfly and Amber. The third one is Voyager. The fourth one is Drums of Autumn. The fifth one uh, is Echo in the Bone. No, sorry, the fifth one was Fairy Cross. The sixth one is Echo in the Bone. The seventh one, who was the seventh one? I don't know. Oh, Breath of Snow and Ashes. Okay. And the seventh, the eighth one is um, something that they shortened the movie. It's uh, written in my own heart's blood. I don't know how it became Moby, but it's a good song. I mean, book. But it's based on uh, Claire Randall and her husband. I can see you, Mimi. And her husband, Frank Rand Wolverton Ramble, Randall, come home from World War II. They were each, he was a spy for the for Britain, Britain and she was a medic, medical nurse. And they come back from the war, and this is like a second honeymoon when they go to Edinburgh, Inverness, I should say, because they have to reconnect, you know, as a couple. And while there, she find they find Cre um, these stones called Cregna Doom, and she goes back, and she accidentally goes through, and she falls back 200 years. Does tra time travel? Stuff. Yes, time travel. She goes back 200 years. Now, a lot of people are like, "Well, how? Why, what did she go back to?" You know, because in, along in the series, it'll say uh, you have to have someone you know or you, you're thinking about in order to go back to them to get it right. Mm -hmm. um, so, a lot of people have different assumptions. Like this is something that was a continuous, like it happened once before. Yeah. Asher, we're doing a video. Do I'm not saying do that. hi to the camera. Okay, well, no more. And um, they think it's like it's continuous because we get to see Jamie's ghost, who we don't know it is at the very beginning, right? Hmm. But 
And then other believe because the first person she runs into once she's in 1743 is when she goes back to is someone she mistakes for her husband because he looks almost exactly like her husband except for it's just actually one of his ancestors. Yeah, I was going to say like an ancestor. Right, and so that's how she got back to that point. And then she ran in and then she met because she was saved by Murtaugh. I think it was Murtaugh who saved her. And in the show it was Murtaugh, but I can't remember in the book. And then that's when she meets James Alexander Malcolm Mackenzie Fraser. That's his name, his full name. After time. <laughs> but anyway, so, you know, he, he goes through a lot of trials, the both of them, trials and tribulations. They go to France, they're, uh, they're in Scotland, they end up being in America, back then as it's called colonies. After. Which sometimes, you know, I noticed that she'll slip up and call it America. But I don't think it was called America in the time when she went back to when they, you know, when they went. She, because they are separated for 20 years and they each think each other's dead. And then they find out, she finds out he's not. So she goes back in time to be with him. Okay. And so she goes back and then she mentions, she tells when people are asking where she was. She, I noticed in the show, she says I was in America at the first time, and I'm thinking, they didn't call it America back then. <laughs> so then she started while I was at the colonies. But anyway, so it's, it, it takes place hundreds of years, over hundreds of years, and different continents. Yeah, sure. But I love my book, and I, the, the show is slightly different than this. The books. I actually prefer the books to the show. A lot of people, I hear that a lot. They say I prefer the book over the movie, or yeah, yeah, because the show, you know, the books are like thousand nine hundred thousand pages long, each individual book. Mm -hmm. And face it, you know, you can't put all of that into one se uh, season. Yeah, which seasons only go for thirteen episodes. So it's like some things are like thrown to the wayside, you know, and just not done like it is in the book. And like Diana said, some things cannot be taken from the book and transferred onto TV. It just can't be done, you know. Yeah. So that's how that goes. But I, I'm really enjoying watching it. Um, I am part of a group on Facebook called Hewans Hooligans. And that's, you know, Sam Hughan. He says, it's supposed to be Hughan. Like you're, you know, <laughs> but you know, I don't know if you can still see me. Okay, well, go downstairs and finish your watching your video. Did you move the camera? No, oh, Lord have mercy. But anyway, so. Yeah, I do believe a lot of people weren't happy when uh, Sam Hyun was cast as Jamie. Yeah. Because in real life he's blonde. I hope you're not moving the camera everywhere. And um, but and he was at the time they claimed too muscular because Sam uh, Jamie's body is supposed to be like a swimmer's body, which I don't I don't know. I thought the first season of Sam Hyun's body looked really good, you know, bulky and stuff. That's why I always imagine Highlanders anyway. Bulky. Okay. And, but I was really, they, you know, happy with them. Because when I read, I don't do like a lot of people you'll hear on the, on the internet, on human hooligans, human hooligans, will say well, that he's, he's exactly what I imagined, or he's not what I imagined playing this part. I don't read a book and, and imagine what he actually looks like. Ask your comments. Off the camera. Move. One. Two. I'm just watching. Well, I know stand there and watch. Moving you're moving it. The camera. I don't want to stand. I want to sit. Just pull the chair out. So you're not moving the thing. Well. There. There you go. So I'm going to end this so we can get this over and done with real quick. Mm -hmm. With all the distractions and... Mm -hmm. Things going on. Mm -hmm. Explosions. And oh, I will be at my house next time. Yes, <laughs> I'll be there next time. Bye.
I just yeah, ride them with my dirt bike. And I actually, you know, the yeah, certain cause... points I want to talk about, I'll, I'll actually write it down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you, you're going to start book number one, right? Yeah. And later. talk about half of the first book. Well, for next, or whatever. I'll just go and just talk about book one. Okay. But well, we don't want to have like a video, like an hour long video be. of you talking. It about won't be. Because I'll be over here going. Yeah, it should be snoring away. <laughs> But no, it won't yeah. be an hour long because I can't remember every little detail of the book. So, okay. but uh, you know, I got the beginning, the middle, and the it's end of that episode or that book. So, okay. But you know, you can check it out when it comes back, or you can just go online to Stars app and watch seasons one through three if you have not watched it and see what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, All right. So that's it then. Yep. All right, everybody. We'll see you. See you next time. Yeah. Next time. Yeah. Go.